Twitch Plus. A, ah, Twitch. Good Twitch. Thank you, Twitch. Yeah, hello everyone. Welcome to Stalker. Uh, Shadow of Prip uh, No, no, Shadow of Chernobyl. God damn it, I'm confused today. So yeah, we are back uh, in the journey of the Mark I. And we are now going to be going into Lake Yantar. In order to uh, contact certain scientists. Now, what I remember about this uh, area is mostly the fact that there's a lot of es escorting. Because, you know, that's what we like in games, you know, escort quests. A lot of them in the same area. In the area filled with enemies that can one-hit people. Hopefully the sound is going to fix itself. That would help. That would help greatly, Stalker. I would not. I would not enjoy having to restart the stream just because you have decided to not have sound. My dog is barking. Yep, sound works. Come here. I've always got something interesting for people like you. Okay, so we drop some gear here. Very soon we are going to be upgrading our weapons. Oh, come on. So oh, yeah, like I said. Hey look, the glorious sound. Hey Share Shock, welcome to the stream. Oh no. Why is it raining, dude? You know what? Give me a second. I'm just gonna save the game. And we're gonna skip. You're gonna skip one hour. Good. So we managed to efficiently skip one hour by sleeping for one hour. We just took a nap. But we are stalkers, you know. We we, we have to take our beauty sleeps. Uh, I need to remember how to get to the next area. I think we need to go through here. I'm literally burning. I remember... Maybe through here? Oh shit. There's a very dangerous anomaly right here. Jeez. It's a really dangerous anomaly. Hmm. I don't actually remember how to get to the next area. Give me a second. Yeah, it seems like you should be able to go through there. Maybe you can, and I'm just blind? Yeah, I'm blind. Okay. You're not supposed to take this path. The, you know, when you talk to people here, they literally tell you, you know, the, you know, the back alley is a bad, bad way. Ew. So yeah, it's time to go and uh, do what we are supposed to do. Jesus. Yeah, this, this area looks nice, you know, this area looks like we should totally go there. Okay, we have 500 bullets. Let's do this. Now, this area is actually much better at night. And I'm doing it dur during day, because I hate myself. Also, we are gonna be finding a lot of mercenaries. Hey, LonelyBlade95, welcome to the stream, man. Don't crash, Stalker. So yeah, from now on, we are gonna be only fighting really dangerous enemies. No more bandits. So, there is an ambush in front of us, and it's pretty fucking meaty. You can actually see them being there. That's bad, it's bad, bad way. Get around blood and shattered brains, yeah, basically. Wolfhound, we got visitors. Some stalker is coming right at us. What do we do? 
Don't you know what to do with witnesses? Finish him and make no fuss. I need to get closer Roger. because... So basically these mercenaries have NATO weapons. They have M4s, they have... Um, they have M4s, they have M16s, uh, they have M14s, you know, whatever you, whatever you want to say. Basically, they have a really good long-range weaponry. Weaponry that we cannot deal with efficiently. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Hey, Elliot. So, we need to use our rate of fire where they are using their accuracy. This reminds me of the game Metro. Yeah, this is basically Metro, except like seven years before Metro, basically. So yeah, the mercenaries uh, have heavy equipment, they have good guns, they are properly trained, and generally are assholes. Using L85. Wait, they, they are using L85s? I thought that these guys are supposed to be using M14s. L85s are shit. Give me a second. Oh, it's under it. Ooh, that's clever. Yeah, this is basically Metro's uh, grandfather. Yes! Time to switch. Oh yeah! Let it, oh, finally some good weapons. <laughs> Finally some fucking good weapons. Wow, look, uh, they even have artifacts and everything. Holy shit. Yeah, they have AKs, it seems. It seems these ones actually have AKs, usually. Okay. Dismount scope, dismount scope, dismount scope, drop, drop. drop. You ever used one? Uh... Yeah, sure, I use, you know, a British gun, you know, that's totally available here. There's a stalker closing in on you. Looks like he's gunned down all our snipers. Watch out, he's coming from the bar. Well, oh, Jesus he's fucking Christ! All by himself. This is how quickly you die <laughs> against people who actually have good guns and good training. Jesus fucking Wow. You know what? Maybe we should use the scope for more. <laughs> fucking hell. There's a stalker closing in on you. Looks like he's gunned down all our snipers. Watch out. He's coming from the bar. Oh, no. I didn't get it. Did he knock off our snipers all by himself? Yes, send a couple of guys to cover your asses. More like rest in pieces. Roger. On it. Now you've done it, Wolfhound. The military chopper is coming to blow you. Wow, the game. <laughs> I 
I always get lost in this area. The industrial area of uh, around Pripyat is fucking dog shit. There's a guy. Where is he? Oh, he's on top. You could see my bullets, you know, like bouncing off him because of his armor. Stalker doing the game. What do you mean? If you attack, I will destroy the information. You won't get my work. I love how the subtitles. Professor, you're a smart man. Give us the info and go where you want. Okay, we need to hustle. If you don't want me to destroy the research results, stay away from me. Oh Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> this ain't no Call of Duty, boys. Mm -mm. You cannot run around a gun, no. You have to take it slow. As much as you don't want to take it slow. Where is he? Where did he go? Where did you go, you asshole? I think I think he's flanking me. Yeah, he's flanking me. They flank you in this game. Yeah, the, the, the AI in this game is actually really fucking good. Up the good guns. Unload all of them. Drop these. By the way, it's actually a really good idea to actually pick up the M4s because they sell for a fucking lag in this game. That's a really good way how to earn money. The last words of each dev. Sounds like actual distress. Well, that's because I'm actually not faking, you know, like. You know, you know how a lot of YouTubers and streamers fake shit? Well, I am not. All of my reactions are kinda legit. This one is the best. Drop. Drop. Just dropping M4s on the floor, right? It's nothing. Ooh, he has a grenade. Give me. Oh look, these, no wonder these guys are getting wrecked, you know, they have shitty British guns. He's gonna pick it up. And I am gonna... Ah, no. Oh. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, he's getting so triggered. Yeah, look at them. The scope is going through the fucking vest. 
Oh, this area. Stalker, I'm begging you. We were returning from Yontar when the Mercs shut down our helicopter. I heard that they are looking for information, but I know they will kill us. Uh, Stalker, I'm begging you. Blah, 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 blah. The Baki will pay you well. Okay, so we need to escort this guy throughout this entire area filled with deadly people. Escort quests. Because, you know, escort quests. Whatever you say, Mark One. But you go first and I'll follow you. I'm a third rate fighter, so you'd better feel the ground yourself. Hey, Elliot, thanks. Uh, thanks for the, for the cheer. Really appreciate it. Oh shit, he's going the other way. Oh, you idiot. The big idiot. They're following us. Mark one, stop them. Buddy? I love the iron sights in this game. Dude, I'm working on it. There's more. Go, go, go. Yeah, so gonna go back here and loot all of these fuckers, by the way. If I remember correctly, now we need a scope. Yeah, escort quests. Best. Oh, I remember this tunnel. Oh no, this tunnel. Split up and go one by one, that will give us a better chance to survive. You go first, and when I see you have reached the end of the tunnel, I'll follow. Beware of the fire traps and look out for hot air distortions. So, yeah, uh, this is the fire tunnel. It's fun. Also, zombies. If you do not know what I'm shooting, there are zombies at the end. They are very hard to see. I have to, I have to fight. I have to fight the gun each time I shoot. It is actually a very realistic AK, I have to say, because I've actually shot AKs in real. Yeah, zombies that actually have guns and can shoot them. Yep, there's fire there. Don't mind me. Shit.
Don't mind me, just trying to survive. Bandage. I don't think I, I can even penetrate his armor with the pistol at that range. Oh, fuck. Look at him, the guy is like, trying to make it. He sucks so badly at this. <laughs> we have the same pistol, I love this shit. Oh yeah, we survived. For now. Still, bros. We are safe finally. Thank you for your help. I owe you one, so here, take this flash drive. These are the results of our last expedition. I'm sure Barkeep will pay you well for this stuff. Bangs. Now, uh, Michael, if you visit a mobile, we will give you a scientific suit that's really good, it's really useful, and you want it. If you come to our mobile lab in Yantar, we'll give you a real scientist, sir. Okay. So yeah, now we did the quest. Now, you are probably gonna think I'm insane, but we need to go back. Because we used a lot of NATO ammo. Oh, generally, uh, my ammo count. 300... Yeah, I need I need to pick up some ammo. So we are gonna go back the entire fucking thing because I hate myself. Oh god. Yes, a scientific date, indeed. You see, in this game, even if they swing in a different way than, you know, the usual, I don't think anyone would make it a big deal, because, you know, people are too busy fucking not dying. You're gonna loot his leg. Is that what I... Oh my god! 40, 40, 40, 22, 40, 40, 24, 24. Yes! It's better. I didn't even know that that thing was... I did not even think... I did not know. I just randomly found it. So 
on food so I do not get hungry. Okay. It's in the box, nothing. There's another corpse somewhere here. I just need to pick up some NATO armor. Because NATO armor is fucking expensive. Why do I have three scopes? Hey Phantom, welcome to the stream, man. Uh fuck it, I'm just gonna go like this. I'm gonna pick up these corpses here. First time for romancing when people are shooting at you and there are zombies with guns. Yeah, exactly. More NATO ammo. And I understand it's 556 five, or something, but I don't care. We do not even use these designations in, in Czech Republic. We actually use. We actually basically say NATO ammo. We basically say, you know, AK ammo. Small caliber shotgun shells, big caliber shotgun shells. That's what we use here. And everyone understands here. I think I looted these guys already and I'm like returning to them. There's more corpses here. I need to hustle because animals are gonna be swarming this place very soon. Because they, they smell the blood. Cool, it that's gonna be useful. Gonna be one guy here. I'm not actually gonna go there. Just go back. So yeah, we need to go back now through the tunnel of death. You know, through the happiness tunnel. Cheeky bricky, cheeky bricky. So yeah, what we need now is a scope for NATO weapons. And a scope for NATO weapons is much more of a bitch to get than a scope for, you know, AK. As you would imagine. And now we can continue to uh, Lake Yantar. Oh, well, like the tunnel of love, nice and warm. Dude. So what's in my inventory? I have way too many artifacts, I need to sell some. Especially these, I have like absolute shit tons of these. Actually, uh, let's put on another one of these. Check out this corpse. Oh, that's a duty guy. Oh, Voss. Before he became a Zom Zom. So, remember that escort quest? <laughs> There's gonna be another one. And this one is worse. Much worse. This is gonna be a, a quest that I'm gonna be repeating a lot. Because it's absolute anal. Uh, say hello to Lake Yantar. Uh, we are gonna be spending here about an hour or maybe two. It's filled with snorks and zombies, radiation, and other nice things. And game crashing.
You wanna purge as many zombies as you can. Because the zombies you kill now are zombies that you will not face later on. Look at how many bullets the zombie takes. You see, the zombies take a lot of damage because they don't feel pain. Half of the half of the human basically the reason why humans react to bullets the way they do is because you know the pain overwhelms our senses, which usually means that we will lose consciousness. That's a zombie. But yeah, I actually have to like annihilate all the important organs of these zombies in order to actually kill them. Oh, you know, shoot them in the head, but you know, since this is actually realistic combat, you know, shooting in the head is actually a bitch to do. You need a lot of bandages because of snorks. Snorks love to ble bleed you. This game. For you. So I'm gonna save here because this area loves to bug out. guy then again i would be grumpy too in this universe look at that red look at his face thank you uh, mark one you helped save our associate kruglov in order to show my sincere appreciator i would like to present you with one of our working suits it comes in very handy you should know that can i be of additional help to you yes uh, i need to sell you shit i need to sell you uh this stalker suit Almost this. No, it is actually slightly worse. That's interesting. Uh, they do train the chest area because much anywhere near the heart is fatal, but headshots have a lower rate of success. Yeah, exactly. So the free the the wind of freedom suit is actually worse than the stalker suit. I didn't know that. Anyway, let's sell it. Let's sell a couple of these. And I only want two of each. A couple bandages, one medicine. It's an MP5 ammo. We do not care about MP5 anymore. One of these legs. One of these medkits. Okay, so important thing what these guys are selling. They are selling a Winchester M1300. This is an automatic shotgun. You want it. This is a really good gun. The problem is, I don't think we brought any shotgun shells. Eat. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take it because we literally don't have shotgun shells. Also, let's sell like two of these. Oh, they are selling a NATO ammo too. Oh, I kind of want, I kind of want NATO armor. To buy all of it. Look at how much money I have. Okay, I'm thinking what else I should bring, and otherwise I. Yeah, we are set. If he was selling uh, shotgun shells, I would buy that shotgun, but without shotgun shells, it's kind of pointless. So I'm looking for a Lab X16. The barkeep told me you might have to infer about it. 
Uh, Vivo, Vivo how long had an interest in Lobster X16 or rather in the mechanism inside that generates emissions that directly affect people's consciousness. Uh, basically, he, they are trying to make an armor that would protect people against uh, basically like there's like a, there's like a mini zone around that laboratory that basically turns anyone into a zombie like a brain brain dead kind of person who just you know just wanders places and people so we need to turn it off and for that we need measurements uh yeah and we need to escort him there so yeah okay i agree So yeah, another escort quest. Also, let's put on our stalker suit. Damn, not again. Save. I'm gonna save another. Another escort quest. I guess it's it's good that they you know did they throw both escort quests at you immediately. It's still dangerous. So you have to go kind of forward and shoot anything that moves. Oh shit, snork. What's he shooting? Jesus, this guy is so angry. Yeah, that's a lot of money even here. Like shit tons of money. Then again, I kind of presume that rubles have a different uh, value in this universe. Oh, hey, there's a skull. Wait a minute. Let me do the metering and we'll move on. Okay. Okay, okay. We'll up the scale, but the radiation is normal. We need to move on. Shit. Shit, it be it's beginning. It's beginning. <laughs> Thankfully this guy is actually not absolutely shit. Just leave him. There is nothing we can do for him. The blowout is minutes away and we won't get through with him. No, Fang. I'm not leaving him. Ouch. Uh, oh, come on, get up, get up slowly. It's all over. Oh, we've got to get out of here quick. I've got the measurements. Now we just need to get back to the bunker. Time to get back.
Zone is a weird place, as you can see. In the zone, everything wants to kill you, even the air, even the, the weather itself. Wow, that's a, that's a really good one. The yellow ones are, I believe, the best ones. Narks, 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 nark, nark, nark. Yeah, we did it. We did it. Dude, you're taking too long, man. Come on, go, 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 go. You can still die. Don't die, dude. Go. Damn, not again. Just. Here are the results. Here, here, and here. Couldn't be any more accurate. Right, let me adjust the prototype. Okay. How is he gonna go adjust the prototype? That looks so creepy, the thing that they have over, over their heads. Is it like, like tin foil? What the fuck is that? You did an excellent job. If the measurements are correct, the prototype should provide you with maximum protection from emission. Okay. I'm glad to hear that. Stalker, now you will be able to break through to the laboratory, but unless you turn off okay, the Elliot. emitter, you won't last long Be even with the side protection on. We've estimated an approximate location of the emitter. It is located in an underground facility. I have marked the spot on your map. So how exactly am I going to get there? Vasiliev was working on the lab issue. About a week ago, he and a stalker called Ghost tried to get inside. A couple of hours later, we felt a major tremor. And after another hour, we picked up a signal from Vasiliev, coming from the swamp. But it died away. And Vasiliev died away with it, it would seem. Tried to find his corpse. He had the exact information on the lab and the way to get into it. There may even be info on deactivating that source of the emission. I've uploaded you all the data we have. It would be very interesting to take a look at these documents. Perhaps anyway, we must start with finding Vassilio's body. So basically we need to find his body. Okay. We're gonna need to just zoom out the map. So we need to go here, where the helicopter has fallen. That means, hey Phantom, welcome back. That means we need to fight about a million snogs. Like literally about a million snogs. Oh no. Speaking of snog. Hey, Shushuk. 2.01 p.m. here, so 201 bits. Hey, Shushuk, thank you for the bits. Really appreciate it. Jesus! This is why you want a shotgun in this place? Look at these, look at these creatures, look at these horrifying, horrifying creatures. Bleeding, 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 bleeding. Heal up. I decided to just reboot my PC 
Yeah, the the if you have Windows 10, right? That happens a lot with Windows 10. Oh, thanks. Thank you for the pistol armor. I actually need it. Ah, this is hell. Nice. What the fuck was that? What do you mean? Lonely Blade. Uh, yep, uh, only... Yeah, basically Windows 10 just forces you to restart. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. 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 There's a snork somewhere. The ammo. There's a snog somewhere. There's a snog somewhere here. A snog that I, I miss a snog. Oh no, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be hunting me now. It's gonna be waiting for me to make a mistake. Yeah, those are snorks. Uh, they are basically heavily mutated stalkers who did not die. They are not undead, by the way. They are, they are still alive. It's just the radiation did horrifying things to them. They're actually based of a real thing that happened during the Cold War. The guy that I killed... Did he vanish? Oh, just two. Go, 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 go. Bleeding, bleeding, bleeding. Super bleeding. You know what? I think it's time to do the thing. I think it's time to go all in. Time to go with America on the asses. Like in the rough, they are heavily mutated freaks who are not dead. Yeah, you can actually look it up. Um, I'm pretty sure there's like you can like look it up on, on the internet, you know, what the snogs are based off. It's actually horrifying. Yeah. You hear a helicopter. I think that's the military. A grenade, more ammo. Whew. 
Oh, I needed it so much. Ooh, the Magnum armor. What the fuck? What is this? Oh, that's oh, that's a sniper armor for the Groza. Ooh. That means the Groza is gonna be appearing soon. We've got all the papers. We know how to deactivate the source of the emission. Proceeding to dig into the lab with Ghost. <laughs> Zombies coming out of everywhere. It's all screwed up. Ghost has gone insane. He must have been affected by the emissions. I I've dropped everything, trying to get out through the tunnels. I I'm at the swamp, but where's the bunker? Shit, shit, shit. I, I can't make out my whereabouts. No response from Sakharov. What's going on? Zombies everywhere. I'm running out of ammo. So yeah, we need to find the guy. I'm more like we need to find the tunnel that he was talking about. Is he dead? I think he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Look at how many fucking snogs I've killed already. Okay, let's go back to the, the guys here. Yo. Hello? Hello? Oh. Uh, Gravy. Out of snow body. Do I have gravity? Thorn slime. Oh, gravity. Yeah, I do have gravity. Hello, hello. Ooh, scientific first aid kit and five thousand rubles. Oh yes, oh, rubles I should say. Rubles. Jellyfish. I have jellyfish. I. I do. Hello? Hello? Most scientific first aid kits. Fireball. I'm pretty sure I do have fireball. I have two. Hello? Hello? Pellicle? Fuck. Moonlight. Yeah, I don't have moonlight, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I sparkle, not moonlight. What did he 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 gave me pellet? Oh, chemical burn minus thirty. Oh, hello, 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 hello. 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 Okay, I sell him this leg. I'm gonna buy as much armor as I possibly can. By the way, now he's not selling the guns anymore because they just they just randomly change what they have. Assholes. Okay, we have some food. I think we are ready. Yeah, I think I think we are ready. As much as I do not wanna say it, I think we are ready. I'm gonna check the snow bodies that are here. If I can get the part 
that he wants. Here. Here. I mean, look at this. Look at this shit. Some horrifying shit. It's mostly eerie because it's realistic, I guess. Oh yeah, I have I, I have this Noxious Wood. I can actually uh, complete that other quest he wants. Am I over the line? Shit, I'm over the line. Probably too much ammo. Hello, hello. Eye of flesh. Deadly we don't actually have that. Hello. Shells on their backs. I don't even want to presume how the physiology is supposed to work. Okay. I don't remember how you switch up. No, that's that's how you drop the entire fucking gun. Uh, I guess we are shooting our armor piercing. 90, 95% human. Yeah, about. If you can still call it human without feeling bad about yourself. Yeah, we need to go and do the main road here. So I'm gonna eat before we go there, and let's go. Cause why? Oh, thanks, thanks, uh, Mavon Mav Mav Really appreciate it. Also, welcome to the stream. Okay, let's go in. I have not done this area in such a long time. Uh, well, I'm on. I think we need to put on the thingy. Oh no, we, we just automatically have it. Oh, snark. Literally deleted him. Good inside. Good. Let's continue. Yeah, we are almost there. I don't know, I don't think anyone is willing to buy anything in here, just saying. But yeah, you know, if, uh, you know, if someone somehow cleans the radiation, I guess, I guess, you know, would get a lot of money from this, you know, tourism. Jesus. NATO ammo, some pistol ammo, pistol ammo. Oh, this place is shit. I can. I remember this place being real ass. So 
quiet. So quiet suddenly. Why is it so quiet? Okay. Okay, so I think we are doing really well on armor right now. It's like everyone has good guns at this point. Even zombies. the guy down. Ew. I just fell there and just died there. Jeez. Oh. Okay, we're almost in imposition. Dancing. Yeah, th this pistol kind of sucks, but I have all of the ammo for it. It's not exactly, you know, fucking 1911. The fuck? The fuck? The fuck? The fuck? Miss five. Oh, there's so many people. The slow run, dude. Try this game yourself. It's difficult as fuck. You know, you try it yourself and you know, jump around like a fucking rabbit. <laughs> Ooh, healing barrel. Uh, it's not as good as mine. I would I, I, like I would take it to heat to sell, but you know, life. Oh, it's another snork. I think I pissed it. Pissed it off. There's another. Whoa. He's got the moves. Uh, no, I am playing on. Uh... Give me a second. I'm playing on Master. Shite. I'm playing on the hardest difficulty with the Rustic Weapons mod. Jesus. I have to switch for Walter.
Yeah, normal is for noobs. There's another stalker. I could switch them. Because this one is almost broke. Another one. Another snock. <laughs> Fucking hell. You cannot stop even for a second. Why do you have a sh why do you have shotgun shells? Move on. Hello. Jesus. Ah, it's okay. I'm one person that will not eat you for for spelling, especially not in, in chat. What the fuck happened to this guy? What the fuck happened? Okay, let's do this, guys. Another laboratory. Oh, I hate the lab so much, but I also love them because they are so well done. They're such good areas of the game. Great job, Mark One. You've actually made it to the lab. It is vital that we study the installation in the lab. Try to be activated so we can examine it properly. Listen, the prototype can't protect the fucker. I love this place. Yeah, X16 is fucking insane. There's a there's a hand, you know, just just a hand. How would you prepare the perfect steak? Um, uh, medium rare. I don't know. That's how I eat steaks. I know I'm boring. I, I, um, the zone took him, the zone took him, such is the life in the zone. <sighs> I'm shitting bricks, the music, the music is so industrial, it reminds me of Silent Hill. You see, usually all good games have really good sound design. And sound design in this game is absolutely fucking superb. Look at this insanity. Look at how spooky this area is. I think it's time to switch to uh, a little close range weapon. Take it easy and slow.
Motherfucker, 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 motherfucker. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> Still alive. Still alive. No goodies in the toilets. Of course there are no goodies in the toilets. We need to leave uh, some acre. Easy and slow. It's not about stock. <laughs> yes. Get the ammo. Get the ammo. Uh, at this point, I need both. I need both ammo. Continue. I know at some point I will have to drop one of my weapons on the floor because the mission is actually gonna become a time mission. If you if you would believe it. Jeez. Totally did not jump there like a little bitch. The two shot is everything. I think I just killed everything with grenades. That's efficient. And the game just gave me another one. I like how little you see. Your your vision is very limited because of the light. And it's not, you know, it's very obviously not done, you know, just because the engine would be bad. It was done because it makes you feel vulnerable. See, so you can make a really scary game and allow your character to Allow your character to have guns. You know, you don't have to do what uh, Alien Isolation did or Amnesia. You can make a scary game and yet give you a literal army of weapons. Because if you manage to make the game dangerous, even if you have those weapons, that is when the game truly becomes a horror, in my opinion. She's M4 shows shoots so fucking quick. You know, Alien Isolation, I hated that game so much. That, uh, Alien Isolation is the literal, like, how to not do horror in a game. Oh no, you have all these guns, but they do not do anything to the alien for no reason, even though it goes against the cannon. Oh yeah, this is the area I was talking about. I need to make a choice. What to drop? What to drop? Uh, I'm gonna drop the M4. I hate to do this, but I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna switch to the better ammo. And 
and I'm gonna unload this and drop it. I'm gonna eat food just enough to be able to run. I need to be able to run for this section. Okay. I'm gonna drop a save. So in this part, we will have to run. A lot. Attention. Critical emissions. Leave the area immediately. Unit C-23 unlocked. Report to security officer. Unit... It's hard to aim. Everything is shaking. Attention. Critical emissions. If this is so important, why didn't you explain what you are going there for? And where did... where did you get this photo from? If you only knew where I've just been and what I saw... <laughs> One day you'll finish badly, Strela. <laughs> Hold on, son. You're going to make it. Where will you go now? To... the north. Okay, time to do this. I'm gonna drop a save. We did a, a pretty difficult section. Uh, did you try some mods for Stalker? I mean, I'm playing uh, the complete 2009. I have realistic weapons add-on. And I have the highest version. So that's basically all I have right now. That's all I ever tried. Kinda wanna go down and get my M4, but eh, I couldn't be bothered. I will get one eventually. I have the money for it anyway. Jesus! I hate- Wow, he has a flaming crotch. He literally has a fl flaming crotch. Ah, oh, hey, M4. <laughs> uh... Yeah, let's go back to M4. 
It has better, it has better, like, basic armor damage anyway. Six. Oh, not this motherfucker again. My ears. My ears. Where is he? Where the fuck is he? Where the fuck are you? There he is. Oh, he's dead. Okay. The uh, call of Chernobyl from Jason. Uh, maybe like it. Uh, I have called. I play call Call of Chernobyl, and I never finished it because it bugged out on me, and I was not willing to put more, you know, like twenty hours to the game. Sadly, it's not. It's not like Shadow uh, Shadow of Chernobyl, which I really like. You see, I really like this game. To me, this game was everything they promised. I know a lot of people didn't like this game. Where the hell are you, Strelok? Damn. And Doc's gone. I could really do with a help right now. When I get back from the mission, I'm gonna find the guy at the perimeter. He goes there a lot. And he may help me find Doc. And if Strelok's still alive, Doc will know for sure where to find him. Anyway, that's for later. And now I'm all alone on this stinking underground mission. Vasiliev doesn't count, he's just a burden which I'll have to protect. Vasiliev lost it at the very last moment. And when the door opened, he ran off instead of deactivating the lower consoles. I shouldn't have relied on him. Strelok was right to mistrust those lying dogs. My only chance is to get to the door before the controller. Vasiliev lost it at the very last moment, and when the door opened, he ran off instead of deactivating the lower consoles. I shouldn't have relied on him. Strelok was right to mistrust those lying dogs. My only chance is to get to the door before the controller. Okay. Okay, let's go. So, yeah. We finished the uh, act two of the game. Oh, I'm actually over overcome. Uh, what to drop? There's so many, uh, so much ammo that we are not actually using. But I want to bring this ammo. I want to bring this ammo to the bar. Okay, enjoy the breakfast. Also, it's funny that you say breakfast when, you know, for me it's almost night. Okay, do this. Now we need to get back. Beautiful. But you can headshot them, they die really quickly. What is this? Is that ice? It's so weird. Why is that ice? Keep moving, we need to get through the tunnels, somehow. It sounds like there's like second world war happening over, over our ears.
tactics. Can I not turn this off? I should be able to. I remember being able to do this. Yeah. That's weird. Maybe I misremember. Maybe it doesn't have a half life in my memory. Yeah, this guy didn't make it. He was a bitch and we are not. Jesus, what the fuck is the military doing? Like, is the military having like a Second World War re reenactment? It sounds like it. Jeez. Okay, let's continue moving through this madness. There's more of the weird ice. Oh, I remember what's over there. Oh, that's not gonna be nice. War. War is happening. Basically, the military is uh, kind of done with our shit. Some extra ammo. Let's move on. Not you, not a soda giant. Fucking hell. Enjoy, bitch. Fuck. What did you do now? Uh, I just deactivated one of the one of the most important military installations. Basically opened open the way to Pripyat. I love how you are losing your shit and I'm like so calm about everything. <laughs> I've been through wars. Uh, that there uh, was a pseudo giant. Hello? <gasps> Fucking seriously, I hate ladders so much. Okay, we need to now fuck off and not make ourselves be seen. Shit 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 shit
We did it. We did it. Oh no. Another one. Fuck. Okay, continue. Jesus! American weapon saving my life yet again. See, I want to bitch about American weapons, but you know, because they are way too expensive, but you know, it's quality. It's good quality. Go inside. Just run inside. Never think about ne never think about what just happened. You did a splendid job, Mark One. Now that the emissions are turned off, we will be able to order new expeditions and explore privacy and accessible territories. And also from now on we will conduct a most favorable pricing policy towards you. You know what? Uh, no. I don't want to protect the, the scientists. Uh, Lair of the snorting bodies. Lair, no. Oh, Groza. Not to mention, yes, a Siwa suit. Siwa suit. Oh, I had that on me this entire time because I'm retarded. It's basically better in every possible way. We want we want this. It's actually not that expensive. I might as well buy it. I can probably pay for it with all of these. Or not. Hmm. But imagine Groza would be pretty fucking. Hmm. Nah, let's not go for good Groza yet. I don't think we need it just now. Uh, what we need is to go to the bar and... Wait. This thing is even better than the Siva. Oh, fuck it. Let's get this. Yeah, it's even better than the than the Siva. Might as well keep this. Okay, so we are gonna sell all of this. We are gonna keep. Uh, we are gonna get this. Was that added with a mod? I don't remember this existing. That. To pick the more artifact. Yeah, whatever. Automatic medical systems engaged. Ooh. Automatic medicals. Ooh. That's awesome. Oh, he has the thing. I look like him now. I look like a weird alien f creature. <laughs> I love how the game implies that I'm absolutely fucking retarded. So, yeah. We are gonna go back to the bar. Back to the bar. And that's basically it for today. Okay. The lab exit. Wait, what? Bring the documents. I love how the game still is, is like, you should go back to the lab 16. Oh. Oh. We never go back. Okay, let's just hurry home. Let's make it back to the bar. Okay, Lonely Blade. Uh, hopefully we will, you know, we will be here talking to each other next time. We really appreciate you watching, by the way. Jesus, we can suddenly run so far.
Maybe you don't need to have two pieces of armor. Okay, let's continue. But yeah, we just slowly start like leveling up our weaponry. Yeah, yeah, see ya, man. Get here, bitch. Fucking dogs. Let's go back. Ooh. That's a lot of money. That is actually a lot of money. I think that's gonna be useful. At some point. Yeah, I need, I need to go somewhere and drop off the Groza ammo that I have. Because it's Groza ammo, but it's also VSS ammo. And it's actually much more useful in VSS, because in this game, VSS is actually not shit. Like it is in real life. this what? I love how the game lagged just to make sure I get damaged Yeah, it's, it's almost night. We need to we need to fucking we need to go. We need to leave. Like right now. I'm yet I'm yet again over the line. They have M4s. That's not gonna be fun. Bitch. Shit. Motherfucker. What? 
Where did he come from? He was not there a second ago. What the hell? The fuck? Come on. Why is the loading in this game so shit? <laughs> Motherfucker. You always get the first hit. Again, always get the first hit, no matter what. Yeah, at this point, the enemies are kinda a little too OTT in the game. They, like, immediately, they have, like, X ray vision. They know exactly where you are. See? You couldn't even see me there. I'm so sick of these fuckers. I am so sick of these fuckers. You cannot even imagine. Fucking A. Okay, save the game, loot the bodies. Oh, they have fucking scoped. <laughs> scoped M4s, yes. Oh, let's give. Wow, the game is taking a dump. Like it's it's, it's actually it's actually almost unplayable at this point. Like it's lagging so much. Yeah, all of them here because they all knew. Okay, inventory management. Okay. So, I'm gonna dismount one of these scopes so that I have both. And the best one. Shit, of course I unmounted it from the best one. On the scopes. Oh. Okay, that wasn't a nice sound. That wasn't a nice sound at all. The f fuck. I legit forgot that sound. You know what? Maybe we should just go up. Let's check out the area. You know, the being. Stop shitting ourselves. Too many animals in this area, Jesus. It's like the first area where animals actually become a problem. <sighs> we, need, we need a shotgun. We legit need, need a shotgun. To deal with these shits.
Yeah, there's so many dogs. Gee. Okay, I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna check it out properly with a sniper rifle. Hey Cheshire, sure, sure. welcome back man. There's a lot of animals everywhere. Sorry that I'm shooting dogs. I love dogs. I love cats and dogs. But they they were actually, you know, being pretty asshole. Yeah, let's start going down. Again, we need to make it to, to the bar. But to do that, we need to make it through all of the areas that we've already been through. At night. Almost. The sausage. Dude, you are making me hungry. I didn't have dinner. I did not have dinner today. And breakfast. Because I was a I was at the doctor. Okay, okay. Let's calm down. Where the fuck is the thing? Is it in front of me? Do you know? Totally no shitting bricks. Not even a smidge. The fuck? You must just go. Just go. Let's just not even start, you know, giving enemies a chance to get to us. And the zone has taken another one. Okay, we are now shooting. That is a whole lot of enemies. Okay. Bitch. Jesus. Yeah, it was probably underneath me. Don't mind me, I'm just shooting bricks. I'm almost out of ammo. I need to make it to the bar. <laughs> these guys have nothing. Wow, these guys are so under equipped. I'm just gonna pick up the most important. So, no, no. Motherfucker. Where is he? 
He's on top. He's not anymore. The good thing about American weapons, they are precise as fuck. We're almost through. You're almost through. So someone is having a day. Yeah, someone is having a day there. Oh, duty. Fucking bandits. They expected to win with these guns. Dude. What the fuck, dude? Yeah, duty just goes by here just to clean everything. Hey, duty. A random AK and a normal stalker with the duty. See, in in this world, you know, it's just it's not just you know, you you know, just me being the stalker. There's so many stalkers who just you know join everyone, you know, helping, you know, making caravans, stuff like that. Let's just go. Let's just go back to the bar. Fuck you. And done. So <laughs> happy. Jesus. So the next thing we are going to be doing, we are going to be pushing towards Pripyat and trying to get there, basically. Hey, Deadly Gamer 24? Yes, America. America! Fuck yeah! <laughs> oh, hey, extra blood. And the game is. No. Sometimes it feels like the game just wants to crash. It's like the game is struggling to not crash. Как медом помазал. Не учатся ничему некоторые. Учиться, блин, не хотят. Everyone playing music. Struggling to give entertainment to a player. <laughs> yeah, this engine is like barely holding together you can tell that this engine just wants to give up this engine just wants to die but i i am not letting it hey hey man <laughs> So, Martwa, you got the documents from X-16? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Well, Mark 1, now we just need to deal with the Scorcher and open the way north. You ready to go now? No, uh, yes. Okay, Martwa, 
You've got the protective prototype, so you'll be safe from the emissions. I have the bunker coordinates. Don't forget that the prototype won't protect you forever, so you need to get to the bunker ASAP and turn off the burner. I don't know what will happen after that, but I am sure it will be worth it. The only thing we can be sure of is that the road to the zone center will be open. Okay. Go on. All you have to do is get inside the bunker below the antennas and switch them off. You win. Yeah, I'm in. One last thing, the leader of duty I'm Mark Hamill, uh, needs a volunteer to carry out some assignments to the military warehouses. If you're interested, you can drop by. I will talk with the guards, they will let you in. Okay. Yeah, here's the flash drive. 5k. Good. Yeah, now he can repair our shit, which is really useful. Uh, kill soldier, eliminate the mercs and Rostock. Meat chunk. I think we still don't have meat chunk. By the way, from now on we can buy some really good gear. Like, for instance, uh, the Vintores rifle, which is good in this game, but it's shit in real life. We can buy exoskeletons, which are really fucking awesome. Actually, getting the Vintores would be pretty fucking awesome. Dragunov's sniper rifles, ELA. Uh, what was that? SP6, 939 SP6. Can that shoot it? Yeah, it can. That's useful. How did I manage that? Okay, so we are probably gonna get the Ventores to lev uh, level up from the AK. And we are gonna get the G36 to level up uh, from uh, the M4. Yep, that sounds about right. Jesus, look at that price. Uh, I've shot it in real life. Okay, so imagine this. Imagine uh, a marksman rifle that the bullets have the effective range of about 100 meters. And I think up to about 100, maybe 150 meters, you might as well be shooting fucking paintball at the enemy. I don't know, I'm kind of feeling maybe I should not buy them. I should buy this because that's gonna be a more rare weapon. But this is actually gonna become like a common weapon soon. Yeah, you look at the stats and the accuracy is just so much better. Uh, that I cannot buy the ammo for it. Maybe I should start stockpiling the ammo. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, maybe... This is important, I need to buy at least one of these. The problem is, both of them kind of take... You know what, I'm gonna take this because it takes standard uh, NATO ammo. So yeah. Oh, that's so expensive though, Jesus. And I'm just gonna stockpile the ammo for the Vintores. Uh, so that... So that... Wow, we, I have like million of these. It is too expensive as shit though. Yeah, I think this I think this is the best we can do. Uh, I'm gonna sell the the Ford 15. I think at this point we really do not need a do not need a pistol like that. At this point it's not gonna serve us. Uh, so these... We have way too many of these. I want f five of each. The rest I'm just gonna sell. 
So yeah, this is a big buy, but hey, it's gonna serve us. Ammo. And... Boom. Okay, see you. We will need to do some... a couple jobs. Okay, so drop this ammo. This ammo. And this ammo. The scopes, I don't need them on hand. This grenade, we do not have a grenade launcher right now, so I might as well just drop it. This tail. Yep. Okay. Save the game. So I'm gonna show the new rifle. It's a G36. Uh, it's basically the German assault rifle that they are using. Check this out, guys. Oh, I actually cannot show you properly. Give me a second. Check this out. Check this shit out. This is some real shit. This is some awesome shit. So, yeah. So I believe, give me a second, I believe we now have, give me a second, uh, what is it? What is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we now have night vision. Yep, now we have night vision. So from now on we are probably uh, never gonna use light, ever again. Get used to, uh, get used to, you know, uh, black and white vision. What was the button again? N? Yes. So yeah, we got new weapons. We are stockpiling, you know, getting ready to be ridiculous. Let's throw into the sun, hurt though. Yes. So, yeah, next time uh, we are gonna be pushing towards uh, the Scorcher so that we can finally open path to the Pripyat, where the last part of the game is, basically. The entirety of Pripyat is probably gonna take me several streams, by the way. But yeah, next time, the Scorcher. I would like to thank everyone for watching. Uh, I'm Fingusa. If you you know have enjoyed the stream, make sure to follow me here. I stream every day. And if you are watching this on YouTube, make sure to subscribe to me. I, I upload stuff every day. If Twitch and YouTube allow me. And you know, if you like the video, like it, share it around, especially on, on uh, Reddit. That helps the most. And you know, comment. I really love to reply to comments, even if you just want to tell me I suck. And remember. In the zone, no one can hear you scream. Actually, everyone can hear you scream, and it's horrifying. So yeah, wish you all a great day, night, afternoon, or whatever your sexy hearts want. Goodbye.